Right then guys, it's PSL or Nathan here, and I'm here for my video looking back at my time on YouTube over the course of 2016. Now I did think about making this video a scripted affair, but I decided to scrap that because I want to do kind of a live commentary, memories I can think of off the top of my head and just looking back at my videos and my time on YouTube over the course of this year and not just a kind of scripted video because every time I do a scripted video I always sound robotic when I'm talking so I just want to do a live commentary look back over my videos but um, if, you, if you're not into this kind of self-indulgent rubbish um, you could just click off of this video now or I've got some quick highlights just some quick list of things I've done so you could just listen to this if you want and then click off quick highlights in a rough chronological order go so I've had the honour of being in one of Cook Productions 1's videos, won the Drivers and Constructors Championship with Minardi, saw Gran Turismo 4's B-Spec do the near impossible, made a 1 hour 18 minute video, saw Alonso win the 2006 World Championship despite the reversed grids, made my first list video, well actually list videos, saw complete and utter, unadulterated, relentless chaos with Formula E cars at Zandvoort, predicted a collision that happened in a real life Formula 1 race, twice, finished a series after 18 months in the making, made a video which astonishingly has over 600,000 views and 2,000 likes, got my channel art changed from the original OK stuff which I made to the now brilliant stuff which was made for me, saw typical 2002 Michael Schumacher and Ferrari dominance in the second reverse grid race series, finally discover how to play Grand Prix Manager 2, and hit 2000 subscribers, and at the time of me recording this, I'm well on my way to 1 million total video views. And bearing in mind I started the year with only 575 subscribers, and 100,000 total video views, it's fair to say this year has gone pretty well for me on YouTube. So that's the quick roundup of my year on YouTube, but I don't want to leave it just at that, I do want to look a little bit further into some of the videos I've made, etc. But um, as I said, I'm not going to script this section of the video, as you can probably tell already. So let's have a look, the first video I uploaded in 2016 on the 2nd of January, was um, yeah my F1 manager video around um, Magni Cour, the French Grand Prix. Honestly can't say I remember that race at all. It was probably just Hackenden winning to be honest. That that would be what I would expect. Either Hackenden, maybe Coulthard. If it was anyone else winning I'd be staggered. Then of course we got my F1 Championship Edition Reverse Grid Race Series Part 9 around Canada. That was quite a boring race actually from what I remember. That was just... Coulthard won it, Liuzzi had an engine failure and Michael Schumacher retired at the start, that was basically it really. So yeah, and it was just F1 Manager and F1 Championship Edition Reverse Grid Race Series, arguably my two most popular series I've, I've ever done. And then, um, yes, so the 20th of February, that series ended. Yes, I, I, I distinctly remember this video having more nice comments than um, than any of my other videos. It was so heartwarming to see the comments on here. Yeah, it was just, it was lovely. It really was. Yeah, I mean, this speaks for itself, doesn't it? I mean, yeah, I mean, I've had lots of positive responses and, you know, on lots of videos, but um, I don't think any video has received so many nice comments as this one, really. Yeah, it was a really, you know, I mean, it, this series did take its time to end. I think I spent over a year doing this series. It did drag on a bit, but I think it did end in a um, really nice way. I'll pray for friends, and I'll remember that. Oh, those were the days. And then a day later, there was the summary and ending video. That wasn't actually meant to be a separate video. That was meant to be on the end of the grand finale. But as you can see, that video was just shy of 40 minutes in of itself. So I cut the summary and ending video down, I just made it like a two minute thing in the finale and then extended it out in the summary and ending video and I, and I would have to say that is still I think one of the best videos I've made. 
So then after that, we got, you know, the season three montage. I really did drag out the end of that series. Um, oh yeah, there's that video. Yes, can B spec win the Speedster trophy? Um, I remember that video. I think I do say in that video that, you know, it took so much longer to record than I was expecting that I was nearly late for college. I really was. Well, you won't believe this. This is, well, this is my ninth attempt of doing this race. I don't know how many of my previous fails I would have shown, but this is kind of getting ridiculous. I'm kind of going to be late for college at this rate, so... And then, oh yeah, my one hour, 18 minute video, the 2002 season review, because it was just relentless the amount of requests I had to do the 2002 season on F4 Manager. And to be honest, I did do all the signings, and you know, and I did kind of build it up, because I showed all the news and all the signings for the 2002 season. There, I, it just seemed to me there was no point building it up if you're not going to show it. So, yeah, that video, I never, I've never actually watched it back, because I do try to, and usually do, watch back all of my videos before I upload them, just in case there's like any mistakes. There might be mistakes in that video, because I never bothered to watch it all back, because it took a long time to make. I mean, look, I uploaded it just a few hours before it went up. So I just met the deadline there. Oh, yeah, and then my favourite series to record ever, my F1 Championship Edition Reverse Grid Race series. Yeah, that one ended, and... Yeah, that was a really fun series to make, actually. And then it was followed by Motorsport Manager. A series which not many people watched. I know the first two episodes, you know, they got decent views, but the subsequent ones really didn't. But nobody, I mean, you know, it wasn't really particularly watched, but I did enjoy it because, um, well, purely because it was just, it was nice and easy. And when did I start uploading that? Yeah, the end of March. The end of March. And, um, you know, that was coming up towards the exam season. So I just needed a quick simple easy series to do it you know while my exams are going on and you know this was it and while it's probably one of the least popular series i've ever done it was still really enjoyable now it's onto page three of my uploads and yes my formula one 2002 reverse grid race series video that was um that was you know quite an interesting series of ferrari dominance but um yeah of course that particular video was recorded on the ps3 that we used to have before it broke, and I think that's still to this day the only video I've recorded in 50 frames per second. Yep, yeah, so there was, yeah, here was that kind of period where I didn't really have anything to upload, so Grand Turismo 6, some coffee break challenges. You know, I really didn't want to do a clickbaity, I think that was at the time, I don't even know why, I distinctly remember thinking, do you know what, I'm going to title the video as it is without any sort of clickbait, so yes, hence, Grand Turismo 6, some coffee break challenges because that's exactly what it was so yeah and then also around that period around that period when i had nothing to upload yes this f1 championship edition some classic car test drives that video was made purely to fill a gap i mean it was a fun video to make but 5600 views 68 likes that video has gone down surprisingly well i mean it was just you know something i just cobbled together really quickly it was fun to make and went down really well for, well, I, I say for some reason, I can sort of understand why, but I wasn't expecting it. And then, of course, it was the start of my R Factor series, R Factor Formula E and Formula 1 circuits. Yeah, that was a very interesting series. Well, I mean, it was chaotic, probably partly because I'd only just got an R Factor. I think I mentioned in the first episode I had R Factor for about a fortnight before I recorded that, so I didn't really know what I was doing, to be honest. Speaking of not knowing what I was doing, yes, Grand Prix Manager 2. This was the first video I uploaded on that game, and just... Because I so desperately wanted to do a series on that game, but, um... Well, yeah, the title speaks for itself, really. Oh, yes, the Driver San Francisco Jump Hunt. Probably the video with the best thumbnail ever that I've made, really. I mean, yeah. What can I say? Nothing more to say about it than that. And I think that's still actually the only video I've made which was entirely based around a comment. And then of course, yes, the F1 manager, best moments, 20 to 11, and then 10 to 1. Lots of fun to make, actually, was, you know, I I would love to make another best moments videos from one of my series, but I don't think there's another series with enough material to be able to do it, but I'm really proud with how those videos turned out. And then, did anything else happen from here on in? Oh, yes, the Zandvoort episode of my 
Formula E series on Formula One tracks. Yes, that um, yeah, that that certainly was a race. Now we got an incident between Freins and Degrassi. Again, we're right in front of this. Where this is as we get past Freins, and Degrassi is gone. He's gone flying up the grass bank and. And this really unregulated, quite dangerous pit lane, and oh my word! Some incident happened in the pit lane. We got whacked by some front wing, I believe it was. Then we're gonna just because Rose will glitch out, or I'll be sat in the pit lane forever. And oh my word! The one time I get the AI in this game to drive for me, and they just go into the back of Duval. Um, yes, my F1 2016 reverse grid race video around Monaco, the video which predicted that both Salbers would crash into each other at the actual Monaco Grand Prix and then um, Canada yeah I, I just made I didn't even want to make the Canada video actually the only reason I made that video is just because so many people asked for it then yes our oh, part 8 of my Formula E on Formula 1 circuits yeah this was around the point where I really wasn't enjoying making it anymore part 8 because you have no idea how long it took to record part 8 of that series. It took stupidly long. I remember that race had the issue I kept getting rear-ended, which even in the final video I put up I did get rear-ended, but the amount of practice attempts I scrapped because I got rear-ended on like lap 2, it was... Yeah, and then part 9, the Nordschleife, yeah that video... Well, in that video turned out well I think, but um, really annoying to make that was. It was... Oh, it took so long, it was so infuriating. Page 2 now and there's a lot going on here isn't there, there's um, my Formula 1 2002 reverse grid race series which I brought back after a gap of about 3 months actually. Um, yes and then the R Factor Formula E series that ended. Then um, what's going on here, oh there's my face, how delightful. And then um, just more of the usual, still motorsport managers carrying on, jeez. Oh yes my What Matters Most series. That carried on. In fact, was that the final one? I think this was, yes, the Grand Smoke 6 What Matters Most video, Power V Lightness. Because my What Matters Most series, I started that in 2015. Right at the, I think like February, March. No, it must have been February 2016, because it took me 18 months to make, so yeah. That, uh, yeah, that series. I mean, the only reason I ended that series was because I hate the idea of me not finishing a series. I have finished every series I started, apart from the first one ever. And yeah, I ended it just because I had some time in August in the run-up to F1 2016. I had some gaps and I thought, this is a perfect time to do that, because I was waiting for a dry period to be able to um, make those videos, and yeah, that was it. And that, the only reason I actually started that What Matters Most series in the first place was because when I started it, I had just finished my F1 2010 career mode. Now at that point, I didn't have my blue snowball microphone, which meant I couldn't do a live commentary video on a console video game, so I had to think of a video series on a console game which could be post commentated, and that was the best idea I could come up with. And I'd have to say, although I would hate to watch the first few videos because of um, how boring my commentary is in comparison to now, but um, I have to say I quite like the What Matters Most series because it was intellectual, it really was looking at cars and thinking, you know, which component has the biggest influence and why, and just, it was more scientific, and I really did enjoy that series. And then, oh yeah, my last video on F1 2015. How tragic. Actually, that video, yeah, that video, there's a weird glitch from F1 2015 at the end of that, yeah, I remember that. And I'd have to say, that video sums up F1 2015 quite well. Lots of fun at the start, a bit chaotic and messy towards the end, and all we're going to remember it as is just a glitchy, subpar F1 game. And then what's going on here, it'll be F1 2016, yes, my F1 2016 crash compilation video, yes. Yeah, this video has gone down um, pretty well, I'd have to say. Lots of people in the comments aren't too happy with because the crashes are forced, but um, I don't know, I mean, you guys can let me know down in the comments, but I don't see why you would click on a crash compilation video and get angry that some of the crashes are forced. 
it just seems a bit weird to me. Like, I can understand where they're coming from, but it's weird. But I'd have to say, though, one of the crashes in there isn't forced. It's this one. And the story behind that one is that was my first time playing the game. I just got into a career mode, turned traction control off because I was fine without traction control in previous F1 games and then ended up stuffing it into a wall. So as much as everybody was angry at me for forcing the crashes, that one was purely unintentional. And then of course we got my F1 2016 career mode, which, well I mean that one encountered some difficulties. Then 1000 subscribers, yes. Posted that Q&A on the 26th of August, and then, um, yeah, not much to say really, just F1 2002 Reverse Grid Series carrying on, and then um, F1 2016 as well. And at the bottom of page one, yes, we've got this, the F1 2016 winning in the wet on Slick's glitch. That was, um, yeah, that was a video I never intended to make. I mean, look, as you can see, I finished uploading it on 6 past 8 in the evening, and then uploaded it at 8 in the evening and I recorded it at about 4, 5? I mean it's late in the afternoon. was never expecting to make that video and I did it just because I could and it was so weird. And in fact that glitch I found out um, has been useful for me in future videos actually which I'm sure we'll get into so yeah just more motorsport manager. Wow that finally came to an end. I mean that's the thing is I started that in the run up to my exams and I end it 20th of October, I mean that is later than expected because I had laptop issues at this time, hence the massive gap from that video to that one, and then from that one to that one because the people repairing my laptop couldn't permanently repair it first time around, so that was nice of them. And then of course, oh, Formula 1 2002 reverse grid race around Belgium, still one of the most chaotic videos and races I've ever done. So yeah, his engine goes. And then, so, right, no, Heifel gets by, so does that person, I don't know who it is, and there's Barrichello, who goes steaming into the back of Raul Schumacher. And then moving up the list, it's just more of the usual, my Halloween special video on Driver 3, that was the first video that I commentated whilst at university, and I think you can tell it in my voice because I'm very... Well, I mean, the commentary there, it isn't quite as enthusiastic and everything as in my usual videos, which is, I think, the biggest disappointment, really. But, you know, an interesting Halloween special video. Since I did one last year, and I've got um, another one planned for the next Halloween, it will be the final Driver Free video, you know, the final reward you get for killing all 10 Timmies, and that one will be in Istanbul, is the final city in Driver Free. So I've already got that planned. And then, um, yes, my Formula 1 2002 Reverse Good Race series ended. And, um, yeah, ended in good old Michael Schumacher domination, unsurprisingly. And, yeah, we're getting rapidly up towards where we are now. Yeah, Grand Prix Manager 2 finally worked out how to play that game thanks to so many helpful comments. I mean, mainly from one person, the same person whose guide I linked in the description of this video. I think I linked it. I should probably double check. Yeah, I did link it. Um, really was. I mean, I like making YouTube videos for several different reasons, but I think this epitomizes the main one. The fact that I'm entertaining people, and you know, people were leaving down comments helping me, and in this case, you know, making Word document guides, which I've still got downloaded because I still find them useful. And then into December, yes, my F1 2016 all 10 seasons of career mode video. That took a long time to make, I mean I started recording that on Halloween I think, and um, I'm amazed with how well it went down, 88 likes, 3000 views, I didn't think it was going to be that more, I don't think it was going to be more popular than any of my other videos. It's like the F1 Championship Edition Classic Cars video, it's something I made just because I thought it would be a bit interesting and it would fill a gap, and it went down astonishingly well. And that's it really. That's my rundown and look back of my time on YouTube over the course of 2016. And of course, by the time you've seen this, you should have seen uh, Grand Prix Manager 2 Part 4. My Dirt Rally Winter Special video, which was a lot of fun to make actually. And Williams Career Mode Part 12 around Belgium. And I've just recorded that actually 
less than an hour ago, so that was actually quite an interesting race, as I'm sure you know if you watched it. And once again guys, I just want to say a massive thank you for the support you've shown me on YouTube over the course of 2016, and if you are watching this on the 31st, Happy New Year's to you, and I'll see you in whatever the first video I put out in 2017 is. So anyway guys, I'll see you then.